Hi, first graders. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we can create an environment, a puppet show, um, out of the book that we're reading, My Father's Dragon. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these four ideas, which are character, props, acts, and setting. So the setting, as many of you know, is the place where the story or a part of the story takes place. Wild Island is one example, but there are other examples in the book. And in fact, each character has their own setting. The setting is the place where their action takes place. So I've made a couple of characters. A character is a person or an animal who takes action um, and has a place in the story. So some of the characters I made over here are, I started to make the gorilla, but I have to put in some facial features. I actually made the backpack, um, Elmer's backpack, uh, kind of as a character, but also as a prop. It's actually an open pasta box so that we can put things in it, like the supplies he brings. There's the lion, but it doesn't have all of its, um, the details of its actions yet, because it's missing its hair bows. And I made a few alligators. So um, when you're making the character, think about um, what brings the character to life what qualities of the character you want to display and then i made mine out of cardboard and cardboard and paper um decide what's your favorite character and maybe start from there these are some props props are the materials or the objects that help us tell the story to the audience so i've got some trees and some plants and i haven't painted them all yet but i'm starting I used a paper, um, a cardboard box as my background, and it's not green yet, but it will be. Um, the acts are the separate moments in the story of the play where different events take place. And I want you to think about like, how can we show physically um, how we change from one act to another? Like I made some of the rocks right here that Elmer climbs on to get from the first setting of the book to Wild Island. And I'm gonna to need to put some tangerines on this on this tree maybe to show um, where we are. And then I had some friends suggest that the way that we can make props and show the setting for Wild Island is to maybe make it green and leafy and have vines and different kinds of trees like ferns and palm trees that have appeared in the story. So I wanted to maybe print a little bit of paper with you today so uh, I could use it for a background and use it for my trees. So right below me, I have um, a piece of paper that was used inside of a shipping, a, a box that I received. And I got some bubble wrap here and I've got some paints. Um, you could try to use markers and then flip it over and print it. I'm not sure that would work, but so I printed some bubble wrap onto some cardboard to make these alligators. And I also did some texture rubbing. So I, I did some of that here too. I put the bags that hold onions uh, underneath this paper and I rubbed over it with black to give it some texture to remind me of like the leaves. But today I wanted to show you that we're just gonna, to make some texture to use for either our characters or our setting, we could try to just change the papers that we have or decorate the things we have around the house. So I'm just gonna put some green paint and some different tones of green and some black on here. Now I'm just using watercolors. So, it's gonna dry kind of fast. These are just um, student watercolors. I'm gonna take a little bit of many different colors and kind of put it on there. And also a little bit of black and maybe a little bit of brown. And then I'm gonna turn it over and print it onto my background paper. You can also just paint directly on a piece of paper to help make your sets and to make your background. Um, but I just like also to think of the way that I can make my characters look like themselves um, by printing different kinds of papers. So I'm just gonna flip that over and I'm gonna press it down on my paper and then I'm gonna lift it up. So that's what it looks like so far. So to me, that could be um, 
leaves in the jungle that could be I could use that as the paper in my background um, I could use that as dragon scales I could use that as an alligator I could use that in different colors to texture rocks so now I'm gonna um, kind of go over it with a different color and see if I can add some dimension to that I'm gonna add a little bit of like an ochre color and because when I think of kind of the jungle I think of you know lots of different kinds of green and yellow and when I think of the different animals in this book I think of um, all the different bumpy textures if you were doing say the rhinoceros you could do grays and blacks all right let me add a bunch of yellow to this some yellow some of this ochre and you could also um, print the texture of a tree this way. So we can use um, different techniques to help us tell the story on our props. And also um, in creating our characters. All right, so I'm gonna go with that for now and I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna use that on later. And um, I think maybe I might also try to add some dimension to this. On my alligators, I also rubbed, um, I, I rubbed the side of an orange crayon over some uh, onion bags to give a little bit of texture to the, to the alligators. You can see I actually have a stapler holding up my scene and I'm gonna actually make an alligator later and I'm just gonna put that over top of it to disguise it. So your assignment is to think about ways that you can create a puppet show of My Father's Dragon and use um, either paper bags as your background or anything you can find to be a background. You don't have to take up a lot of space. You could even do it in a shoe box or another kind of box. But I want you to think about characters, your favorite character, what they look like, what you need to do to make them look like themselves. Think about what props you can use to tell the story. Props are the materials or objects you're gonna bring in. I've got my backpack, I've got, um, here's some, you know, some props are some like, I drew some lollipops that are gonna go in there. Um, these backgrounds, these bushes, the clouds, the trees, those are all props, my rocks. Um, think about the different acts of the play and how you might wanna show the action and the separation between acts. And think about the settings, the, your favorite parts of the book and what those parts look like, um, what each character's setting is. Are they in a tree? Are they near a weeping pond? Are they um, by the river? Are they um, somewhere else? And try to make some of these things on your own and put together a puppet show and take a picture if you can or take a video and share it with us. Okay, good luck readers.